Hello everyone and welcome. If you're new here and are into luxury handbags and shoes and perfumes and whatnot, then please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Now today's video is a very, very special one for me because this is the reveal of a bag that I wanted for the longest time. So this video is not an unboxing because I have already used this bag quite a bit. I purchased this bag on my recent trip to Dubai, my recent summer trip, and I've used it quite a bit since then. So I will be giving you a bit of a quick review on it and what I think about it. Um, well, obviously I love it, therefore I've bought it. But like what I think of its durability, its versatility, and um, what fits inside, and um, how it looks on me, and so on. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So as you must be knowing from the thumbnail, which bag I'm talking about, this is no other than my my mini lady dear <laughs> yes this is my brand new baby isn't she a beauty Yes, this is my latest purchase and I'm really, 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 really excited about it. I have been wanting this since the longest time. I can't tell you how long I've waited for this bag. It just, I don't know, I, somehow I was never able to actually pull the trigger, you know. And this time around, I just said, I have to do it. Because if I don't buy it now, when will I buy it? Because with the recent and the frequent price increases, I was like, now is the time. Because if it's now, it's, it's now or never, literally. So I just had to buy it this time. So here it is. I purchased this from Dubai Mall. This is what it looks like. And um, this is, the color of this um, piece is um, opaline, opaline gray, pearlescent, yeah, in lambskin leather. I think that's what they call it. Opaline gray, pearlescent, or pearlescent opaline gray, something like that. Yes, and this is the lambskin leather with light gold hardware. And uh, the pattern is called the canage pattern. It's the canage stitching. And this is what it looks like. It's got feet at the bottom. And it's got a beautiful light gold chain. A beautiful light gold chain which looks almost like jewelry literally and it's got CD engraved on it I don't know if my camera is catching it but it's got CD on the clasp it's a beautiful chain it's a bit heavy it's beautiful it's almost like a jewelry piece and it's got this flap opening, like so. And the, let's first talk about the sizing, okay? So the sizing is this, uh, I think, yeah, this is the length, okay? So the length of this mini Lady Dior is about 17 centimeters or in inches, you can say 6.5 inches, okay? And the height is about 15 centimeters, 
or in inches it is six inches okay and the width is about seven centimeters which is i think maybe three inches maybe not too sure about that and uh, the chain okay so the chain length in all is about 120 centimeters or 47 inches but when you're wearing it the chain drop will come to about 59 centimeters or 23 inches so that's how it's going to be yes okay so about the pricing mm, in Dubai it was for about 20,000 dirhams and in UK, it retails for 4,200 pounds. In USA, it is about $5,500. And in France, it is about 4,700 euros. Okay, so now let's talk about the durability. Now, I know you must be thinking that how can I give you uh, my, my view on its durability so early on? When I have just purchased it so um, actually the thing is that I used it quite a lot as in from the day I purchased it till the uh, moment I arrived back to my country so like I have used this a lot like I was using it 24 7 I, um, I used to go out during the daytime uh, and I had this and then when I used to uh, come back home let's say like after dinner so I was using it throughout the day so I think I have used it so much that I can uh, maybe you know give you a bit of my opinion on its durability so uh, uh, on in durability i would say that this is not so much of an everyday bag it is actually quite a delicate bag because uh, when i was using it i found that i have uh, already discolored like the handles because of maybe the oils in my hand or my hand cream or the, the makeup that i was using you know so uh, for some reason I felt that quite early on the handles have started getting discolored and uh, I have removed the stickers from the charms so I can I can already see uh, some scratches on the charms and as far as these are concerned the stickers are still there I haven't removed them so they're okay and the chain is also fine I don't see any scratches on this but uh, there are plenty of scratches on this i mean some scratches yeah because uh you know like it moves like this from side to side so the d i uh scratches the o so uh well but that's inevitable really i mean there's not not much that you can do about that and then the corners i found that the corners uh are also dirty uh in front as well as at the back uh, but there is no color transfer at the back and the quilting is fine but uh, there are a few scratches on the handle at the back as well and uh, because actually see what happened was that when I was carrying a top handle throughout the day I found that the handles were getting discolored so I decided to put the chain strap on and start carrying it crossbody uh, to avoid um, spoiling the handles so when I did that I found <laughs> that because of the chain I scratched the handle so that happened then I tried to rub it out but no luck with that the scratch is still there so the lambskin leather is actually quite delicate and uh, Another thing is that the color that I have chosen is also quite light. So if, uh, if it were maybe a darker color, the scratches would not have shown that much. 
but since uh, and the handles would not have uh, you know discolored or anything but because of the nature of the color of this bag it i think it was just inevitable it had to happen uh, there's nothing really that we can do about it so yeah that's that and now i will show you what fits inside this bag okay so now i will just tell you what i uh, typically carried in my bag while i was on my trip okay so when you open it you see inside there is the canage print and there is a one zip pocket and uh, there is a leather tag inside which says christian Dior. and uh, okay so now i'll put my things inside and show you how i packed it okay so uh, my phone is iPhone 8 plus but I am um, filming this video on my phone so uh, just to uh, give you an idea I have borrowed my husband's Samsung phone which is almost the same size as my phone so I will put this in and you can see that it goes in in and out quite easily so this goes in here like so and then I will put my compact like this on the side. Then I have my hand sanitizer. I've bought a very slim bottle so that it fits in my bags easily. Doesn't take too much space. So this goes in here like so. Then I have my Chanel hand cream. It's an amazing cream, by the way. It's really nice. It smells really good too. So this one goes here. Okay. And this here is my uh, KLA musk perfume. It's a mini perfume that you can carry in your bags. So this I will keep over here on the side. This is my... Christian Dior lipstick. This I can put um, over here behind the perfume. Yeah. And then I have here my mini card holder. I keep my cards and my cash in this. So this can fit on. Um, where should I put it? I can put it here behind the hand sanitizer. And then I have a spare pony. I can put this here. Then my AirPods. These can go in here. Um, you can put them in like this, like this, okay. And then my sunglasses. So this case is actually quite bulky. This won't fit inside. So I'll just take my sunglasses and I will put them here. Wait, let me just, yeah, I can put these here on top. Mm. Hmm. There. I've put my sunglasses right on top. There. So everything fits perfectly. And the bag has not lost its structure from anywhere that is a very good thing about this bag actually but it's a very nice well structured bag okay so if I remove my sunglasses you can see everything is very well organized inside 
I don't think I need to pull out everything if I need something. If I need my AirPods, they're right there on top. And if I need my cream, I can just pull it out like so and put it back in. Yeah, so that's actually quite okay. And I'll put my sunglasses back. I'll close the bag. So this is how it looks. And another thing, some people actually find this flap uh, a bit annoying maybe. I don't know. Like they, they say that um, the flap tends to get scratched when they try to open it. I don't know, but I at least haven't had any issues up till now. Um, it hasn't scratched at all. It's actually quite fine. And um, so, yeah. And the, the charms, uh, well, they do sort of get tangled sometimes, but that's also not really such an issue for me. They do get tangled very easily. And the D... Uh, Keeps, it keeps going like this. <laughs> so then it does not look like a V. So I just do this and put it back in its place. Yeah. But that's okay. These are charms. They are meant to be like that and, you know, like just move around. And that's the beauty of it, actually. And I even like the sound they make. It also annoys some people, maybe, but um, it doesn't bother me at all. I actually like the sound they make and, and I like it and I like the sound the handles make as well and I don't know I just have this fascination for this bag I mean since forever so nothing annoys me really I mean nothing literally and I'm just totally totally in love with my bag just I don't know I'm just uh, I really thank God that I have finally been able to own it okay so now, uh, next, I will tell you why I chose this bag. Okay, so I chose this bag because I, first of all, love the look of it. I think it's very princessy. I think it's a very, very beautiful bag. It's very chic and it's, a, it's like a forever piece. You know, it's, it's a classic. Uh, when we think of Lady Dior bag, we think of Lady Diana. And I have always admired her sense of style about which color to buy because I wanted this gray. I, um, I needed a gray bag in my collection. I did not have a, a nice gray bag. So one is, um, reason is that. And then uh, another thing what I like about this color is, because, is that I feel this color combination uh, can go with anything like if I'm wearing silver jewelry it will go with it if I'm wearing gold jewelry it will go with it you know so uh, that is what I like about uh, this color combination and I feel like uh, for formal occasions like when sometimes if I don't want to carry a silver clutch I can always carry this you know so um, so that is what I like about it now let's quickly go over if the lady dear is the bag for you okay so firstly you need to ask yourself what is it that you need this bag for is it for formal and special occasions is it for work purposes or is it for casual everyday use because this is going to help you decide which size material and color to choose I mean, I won't get into the exotics because um, the prices of these beauties are already so high that um, I think I'll just stick to the basics. Okay, so um, first up is, let's say, the material. Okay, so the lambskin and silk are um, on the delicate side of materials, more suitable for formal occasions and maybe office use. Then the patent leather and uh, their recently introduced caviar leather uh, should be more durable. Then there's the diamond motif version, which is more edgy and then and also quite durable. And then there's the wicker version, which gives a more VK vibe, you know. So these are the, uh, the more durable versions. Now, uh, 
that is if durability is a priority for you okay uh, then let's discuss the sizes now we have the um, there's the micro mini small medium and large so the micro holds nothing much except your airpods and card holder or maybe a lipstick right so and the mini as you have seen in this video holds quite a few things but of course less than a medium or a large size would hold so depending on the nature of use you have to decide which size will work best for you do you need to carry a lot of things or can you downsize and um, okay so next is the color the color options now uh, they have tons of colors to choose from uh, so but the darker colors um, should be more durable because the the scratches and the dents and discolorations don't show as much on such shades but the lighter or the pastel colors on the other hand are more delicate and a bit harder to maintain such as this gray one here but all in all um, i would say that the lady dior is a very classy yet a very girly bag at the same time so no matter which size material or color you decide they're all gorgeous but you will have to um, weigh and consider your options when deciding which one to choose and um, well yeah that's about it all that i have said in this video is just my opinion and everyone has their own i hope you found this video helpful and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing uh, to my channel and uh, yeah that's it for now and until next time take care bye bye, bye.